hi guys welcome to my new attempted booktube channel um, I'm gonna start off with a September read video um, I read seven books in the month of September four of them being from Susan Mallory's Fool Goals series the summer series and a Fool Goals Christmas so the first book I read was Summer Nights this is no I lied the first book I read was Summer Days. <laughs> we love a good fail. Um, so Summer Days is about Raph Stryker who comes to his mother's aid who's been robbed of $250,000. Not so much robbed but tricked out of it. Um, and the person who took it can't pay her back. It was to help a friend with cancer. Um, in which then Raph and his mother May get involved with Heidi and her grandfather Glenn who live at a ranch in which Raph grew up at um, and he doesn't have great memories there he does not want to be in town he wants to get his mother's money back and he wants to get out but he gets entangled with Heidi um, so this is the first of the four book series in the Fool's Gold series if you've never read Fool's Gold series before it basically follows multiple people in this town um, and their story uh, so this was the first one and then the second one was Summer Nights. Um, this follows Shane Stryker, which is Raph's brother, and Annabelle, who is the librarian. Shane is now teaching Annabelle how to ride a horse because Annabelle is in a parade for... Sorry, my battery is dying, apparently. Is in a parade for a bookmobile fundraiser she's trying to do. Um, and it just follows their story. The third one was all summer long my mom is currently reading this book this follows the youngest brother clay yes clay striker who is an ex underwear model um now wanting to be a volunteer firefighter in which he meets charlie dixon um who is having her own battles and demons she's trying to get back out in the dating world and has some trauma there she's trying to overcome in which she enlists clay to help her get over it She's also estranged with her estranged with her mother, in which her mother, a ballerina, world famous ballerina, comes back into her life, and that's a whole mess in itself. Um, definitely a good read. The last book in the Fool's Gold series, not the last book, but the last book for this family. Um, this is a Fool's Gold Christmas. It, it follows the story of Evie, which is the Stryker brothers' younger sister, and Raph's partner Dante um in which Raph enlists Dante to look after his younger sister as there's some family drama there that they get into uh this book was really good as well it's the only one that's hardcover which kind of bothers me but it was $3.99 at Talese compared to um $19.95 Canadian so <laughs> that's a good deal and I'll take it uh, the next book I read was Look Alive 25 by Janet Ivanovich. Um, this is obviously the 25th book in this series, starting with One for the Money and continuing through. If you have not read this series, it is definitely a must read. This is about a bounty hunter named Stephanie Plum who is a little eccentric. Um, she doesn't really... She doesn't really do a good job at being a bounty hunter, but she always ends up getting the job done in her own way. Um, there's also some romance. Her ass her assistant, I guess, her partner, she's not really a partner, um, is an ex-ho who wears too tight clothes and is rather large, in which it's always a good time with those two. Lula and Stephanie, those are the two characters. Um... The next book I just finished, actually, is Lisa Gardner, Fear Nothing. Um, Lisa Gardner is a murder mystery type writer. This is Detective Dee Dee Warren. It's the third book I've read with this character in it by Lisa Gardner. I've only read three books by Lisa Gardner. All of them are fantastic. Highly recommend. Um, this one, Detective Dee Dee Gardner, or Detective, Detective Dee Dee Warren, my apologies, uh, shows up on a scene that is somewhat the same to a serial killer who was 
who killed himself 40 years before. He left behind two daughters, one in which has been incarcerated for 30 years. The other one is a is a doctor, a psychiatrist, who ends up seeing Dee Dee. She has a rare um, case where she doesn't feel pain. She doesn't know if she's injured herself. She has to check her body every night to see if they're swelling, if she has a fever, all that good stuff. But now they are chasing somebody who is exactly like her father. And they are convinced that it's her sister that is talking to somebody on the outside. Um, this was a really good book. I could not put it down. I think it took me like two days to read. Um, I highly recommend anything Lisa Gardner if that's up your alley. I like lots of different variety. Um, so obviously from romance to bounty hunting to murder. Um, the last book I'm still currently reading but I'm going to put it in here because I'm filming this on the 28th of September. I still have two and a half days um, to finish it. I started it today. It's super good. This is Debbie McCumber's Mr. Miracle and it is about an angel who is sent down from heaven on a mission to help um, a girl named Addie get her life back on track and there's a reason why the person who used to tease her relentlessly is back in her life, Eric. Um, and they kind of get thrown together. So, so far, so good. I'm um, hoping to finish this probably by tomorrow because it's the weekend and what else am I gonna do than a bunch of reading? Um, but anyways, thank you for watching this video. Um, there'll obviously be plenty more. I think the next video I'm planning to do is my October TBR, so stay tuned for that. Um, if you liked it, subscribe. Comment down below what your favorite book was that you read for the month of September, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.